Welcome to the Zero to Hero video recording series. In this series, you will learn the skills needed to produce and deliver quality videos. Hello, we'll start off by opening Open Broadcast Studio, or OBS. All right. And initially, you'll have a new scene collection, so tutorial. And you'll have a default scene and no sources. So this is the basic layout of OBS is you've got your file menu here, your recording screen, and then your scenes, your sources, your audio mixer, scene transitions, and then your controls for uh, streaming and recording. There's also studio mode if you need that functionality. So we'll get started off with this video. We'll have a basic scene set up with a background image, a camera source, and we'll also get to chroma key out a green screen, and then uh, select uh, desktop for display capture. All right, so in our scene, we have to have at least one scene, and we can rename it. So right click on the scene and rename, and we'll have this as our intro image. I like to name things the way that I would expect them to be, and then you can reference those later a lot easier. So in our sources, we need to select plus and then image. And for this, I want a hero image. And then I'll select that from my files. OK. And then you can choose to unload image or source when not showing. And that can help with memory management um, if you're running out of RAM or having other system issues. So I like to check that whenever I know that I don't need that source running. Like um, for cameras, you'll probably want those to stay active um, or for a desktop recording source. But for images and videos and things like that that you're only going to show once at a, one at a time, um, I like to check that box. So OK. And then here you can see in our recording window that this image is larger than our recording space. So it's only showing a part of that image. And there's also this red box indicating that that is selected. And then you can click and drag anywhere on the image or the source to move it around. And it should snap to our recording uh, area. And then there's also these red boxes that let us resize sources. So I'm just going to resize this image down to fit within our recording area and then bring it up to where it's filling that space. And so you can see I've got a little bit of room with the particular size of this image that I can adjust it and get it right where I want. All right. And then for another source, I would like to have a title. So uh, add text. Title text. And with text, you need to be careful with the font size. If it's too low resolution, it'll be blurry and fuzzy, kind of like it is right now. So I like to select font and then go as high as it'll go, or even go into the size box and type in something really high. So 150 is what I would like for this one today. So then I'll go and adjust the color to something that I like. And then I'd like a gradient for this one too. Kind of a silver color. Okay. And then hit OK. So now we have our text box. And then, like any other source, I can click anywhere and drag it so long as it's highlighted. 
and then I noticed that I have the text uh, I missed a capitalization and I also clicked off of it so now nothing is selected but as I hover over it, the blue lines show what you can select and so I'm hovered over the text now and it's selected so left click and then I can also I can either right click on it here and hit properties or I can go to the sources list and get it from there so I want this T to be capital there we go all right so now we have our intro image set up and so now we need to get our desktop captured so create a new scene and we're going to call this desktop all right so with desktop you need to select a source and you've got a couple options um, display capture will capture everything on a particular monitor or screen and then window capture will capture a particular application for window capture you need to make sure that the application is up and open and maximized uh, or at least visible on your screen and then you can select which app you want captured for this instance we're going to go with display capture and then display two okay so here you can see it's got the desktop and any window that we have open on that desktop all right and then for desktops i also like to have a camera showing so duplicate the scene and we'll call it desktop one plus cam two okay i'm just going to disable the display capture right now so you don't get dizzy and then add our camera source so video capture device call this cam 2 and select our secondary camera all right and then for this since it's overlaying with a desktop i'm going to put it down in the corner you can resize it stuff like that and you can see i've got a green screen and so i need to key out that green screen so it doesn't show so on our cam 2, right click and filters. And in filters, it's an effect filter for chroma key. And then green screen is green, or you can do a blue screen or other custom, custom colors. And then adjust the sliders to fit. And then there's some other adjustments you can make as well. Okay, close that. And now we're chroma keyed out. And I'll go ahead and hit this eyeball icon, and that will show our desktop display again with my Cam 2 overlay. Another thing that I like to change is the fade duration for scene transitions and set that to 700 milliseconds instead of the default 300. All right. So there's a whole bunch of other sources available and you can play around with a bunch of those as well as um, you can change the order of your layers, things like that. So if I move title text down, it will dis effectively disappear behind our hero image. So if I move that down and then move the hero image, it's still there. Move it up for hero image. 
you can now see it. So there's lots of flexibility that OBS can provide. And that concludes this segment of our Zero to Hero training series on OBS.